Hello and welcome back to my channel I am the one in this video I will be showing you how to adjust the size of the bracelet of your fast track watch I will not be using any other watch because I don't have any I will be using this fast track watch I have made uh, I have already made a video an unboxing video of this watch as you can see this is a 3039 SM06 model in the, in the here I will be showing you how to adjust the size of this bracelet as I have done it according to my size a watch should fit tightly like this whether it is a bracelet watch or it is a um, rubber or leather strap watch it should always fit tightly like this okay let's start I'll only I'll only show how to reduce the link size uh, and I'll keep it keep the size of this watch same I'll not be altering the size as I have already adjusted this according to my size so let's begin first you need to open this side up this side you need a sharp thing like this picker as you can see now here you can you will see a small thing this thing this you will have this is like a pusher you will have to push this from either this side or this side and after pushing this you will be able to separate this part from this part okay let's do that only from one side the other side will become free it's a bit hard as I have done as you can see it jumped away here it is it fell down it has springs from both the sides you can compress both the sides okay let's put it aside well, let's put it here now in order to adjust the size of this side or this side I have adjusted this side so I'll be focusing on this side now let's do that here you can see arrows marked yeah here you can see these arrows means you will have to push this uh, as you can see the, here are some dotted line, dotted structures as you can see here you will have to push this with the help of some sharp object and after uh, the number of links you want to remove count them and push this uh, outside and after the side comes out take it out with the help of your finger or, or something let's do it for this for this removal you will need a sharp thing let's use my knife let's do that you have to push from this side only from this side as you can see to push from this side to bring it out here are two separate parts the upper part will get removed but the lower one will not remove as it is fixed so don't worry about that I will show you how to remove that thing also how to remove the whole thing only whole link let's do that let's remove for this I will be removing only once uh, one link and again putting it back behind the camera so let's do that as you can see it came out after just some pushing now uh, let me focus no now you'll have to take it out you can take it out with the help of this knife only with any knife it will not jump away as it's 
very very tight in its place now it came out now this thing is still attached now in order to remove this thing you will have to take a screwdriver or something I'll be using this old screwdriver with this flat head let me focus oh whatever let's do that as I have removed this side so I'll be remove uh, I'll be putting the screwdriver inside this and then I'll be applying pressure to uh, move this upwards a bit then I can easily remove this uh, see how I do this after applying some pressure the side will come up a bit you'll have to apply a more bit more pressure After doing that, apply even pressure on all the three sides. So first start from the middle giving pressure and then go to either of the side and then the other side. After doing that, it will come up. Then you will have to pull this thing out. Just like that. This is the place. It's very sharp and it's very thin. It is just kept in place here. So you'll have to pull push this thing out and then take it out okay now I will show you how to put it back in the same way as you have taken it out put it back inside then after putting it back inside take this thing which you have removed this thing now to keep it secure in its place I'll have to put this thing back again to do that the side which was attached to there I'll have to put it from this side to align with this it with this side let's do that first press this lower part with the upper part to align it and then push this in it will automatically get aligned to itself now after pushing in it will go inside and after that you will have to put this thing back inside means you will have to apply pressure with a hammer or something let's see what I can do let's press it back in I'll have to apply more pressure still so after applying a lot of pressure it finally got level with the other ones and then you can then I'll have to you can put this back in but let me first prevent it from tearing off my hairs from my hand to do that it's very simple for you first you need to take a cello tape then put some cello tape here and there let's do that let's put this cello tape here on one side Let's take another cello tape. And again put it this side. Now it's perfect. Now it cannot tear your hairs off from your hand. Now let's do the same on the other side.
after doing that now I'll show you how to attach this thing back first take that pushel type thing this thing which earlier jumped away when I tried to open it yeah let's do that take this put it inside take this pusher type thing and put it on the side from where you have taken it out let's put it in now take the other side there are three uh, micro adjust there are four micro adjustment holes as you can see I have to put it here so that let's put it here so that it becomes more adjusted to my size let's do that take this put this here put this inside and align it properly with the other side of the hole then press this thing press the other side inside take that picker push this in got let's adjust this properly yeah now it's adjusted properly let us see here in the micro in this micro adjustment this is the third one I have put it either it was here I'll I have put it here uh, to more to make it more comfortable on my hand. Now let's see if it tears off my hair still. Now it's far more comfortable from before. Okay. So if you liked my video, please like and subscribe and if possible share and please comment on how can i improve thank you